Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you have been experiencing any taskbar issues in Windows 10, like your taskbar disappearing from time to time, or your device becoming unresponsive, then Microsoft has actually confirmed this as a known issue over on Microsoft Docs on their known issues website on the 16th of November this year, where um, they say that you might experience an error in which the desktop or taskbar in Windows 10 and might momentarily disappear or your device might become unresponsive. Now um, there is a workaround and also a resolution and the workaround um, is quite simple actually it, and as I always suggest with a lot of um, issues when you are experiencing any issues on Windows 10 or Windows 11 or any operating system for that matter just restart your device as that will flush the cache and the memory and should resolve um, minor issues and just by um, restarting your device. And then the resolution is they've once again used a known issue rollback. Now a known issue rollback, um, just to do a quick recap, is nothing you have to do from your side to fix the problem. It's not a patch or an update you have to download and install. It's something Microsoft does from their side. And they usually take up to about 24 hours or so um, for the known issue rollbacks um, to take place. And once again, as I always suggest, um, just restart your device and that will speed up the process, if not actually solve the issue. And um, if restarting your, your device doesn't resolve the issue, um, the known issue rollback should, according to Microsoft, um, fix this problem where the taskbar is disappearing um, or the desktop might also disappear or your device might become unresponsive. Now the affected platforms are Windows 10 versions 22H2, 21H2, 21H1 and Windows 10 version 20H2. So basically, more or less all the supported versions of Windows 10 and there are no um, server editions of Windows 10 that are affected. So your desktop or taskbar might disappear or become unresponsive if that is happening to you and you have experienced those issues. Microsoft has fixed that now with a known issue rollback. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.